Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session on dentistry and more. So today's topic is curve of spin. Curve of spin is nothing but a compensatory curve and balancing occlusion and it is put forward by an anatomist Ferdinand Spee in 1890 which is a anterior posterior curve in a sagittal plane and it is viewed best from the lateral side. So let's see what is curve of speed. Curve of speed is nothing but this red line. It is an anatomical curve established by the occlusal alignment of the teeth. So this occlusal alignment as projected onto the median plane beginning with the cusp tip of mandibular canine and following the buccal cusp tips of premolars and molars continuing through the anterior border of continuing through the anterior border of ramus of mandible and ending to the anterior aspect of mandibular condyle so it is starting from mandibular canine premolars molars anterior border of ramus of mandible and reaching to the anterior aspect of mandibular condyle. This arc of a curved plane that is tangent to incisal edges or and the buccal cusp tips of mandibular dentition viewed from a sagittal plane. So when we view from a sagittal plane, this arc is a curved plane and which is tangent to the incisal edges and buccal cusp tips of mandibular dentition. So that is curve of speed. So it is an anterior posterior curvature of occlusal surface starting from the tips of lower cuspids that is canine, bicuspids, molars, condyles and if this curvature extended it would reach a 4 inches circle, a diameter of 4 inches circle it would make. So this was given by Ferdinand Spee and it is very much vital in balancing occlusion because if it is a steep condylar path requires there should be a steep compensating curve so ideally we would require a flat mild curve of speed for an ideal balanced occlusion and why this compensatory curve or curve of space important because the anterior posterior and lateral curves there are many curves incorporated during the artificial teeth arrangement during dental construction and these curves are to compensate for something called as Christensen's phenomena Christensen's phenomena is nothing but when a flat occlusal scheme is given an opening takes place in the posterior region okay when a flat occlusal scheme given an opening takes place in the posterior region during the protrusive movement so when the protrusive movement happens there is an opening takes place in the posterior region of mandible so this opening is because of the effect of condylar inclination so because of this condylar inclination an opening takes place at the posterior part during the protrusive movement so the compensatory curve are determined by the inclination of the posterior teeth and their vertical relationship to the occlusal plane so that is how we uh, plan our compensatory curve so that it becomes in harmony with the movement of mandible guided by the condylar path so we need to keep in mind that to avoid the Christensen's phenomena the curve should be in harmony with the movement of the condyles. So this curve of spay has importance in um, orthodontics, prosthodontics and even restorative dentistry. So this uh, two dimensional curve of spay which moves upward and from anterior to posterior direction. Uh, and if it is measured at the deepest point near premolar region it has 1 to 1.5 millimeter of concavity and that is an acceptable range so the concavity increases or deepens in deep bite patient so if the deep bite is there this concavity of 1 to 1.5 millimeter 
increases and a flat reverse curve of speed a flat reverse curve of speed it is like this you get a flat reverse curve of speed in patients with open bite so this curve of speed is important in balancing occlusion in prosthodontics in orthodontics and even restricted dentistry it should avoid the Christensen's phenomenon and it will be very deep in deep bite patient and the opposite will see an open bite patient so creating a ideal or perfect curve of P is very much important in managing or creating a balanced occlusion so that is why this compensatory curve is important in occlusion so that's all about curve of speed it is uh, imaginary curve on sagittal plane starting from canine to contail to make a perfect balanced occlusion so i'll come up with a new session on dentistry and more thank you